From the high oceans to the hearts of fans around the world, One Piece has outlined a course, not at all like some other manga and anime series. Blasting onto the scene in 1997, this social juggernaut has caught the creative mind of millions, procuring its place as a real peculiarity in Japan and then some. It has 400 million copies that are presently circling in Japan and 80 million copies in nations all over the planet. One Piece is certainly the most well-known in Japan, yet it's no joke all around the world and is one of the most incredible selling manga series ever. Let's see what impact it has left on the shonen genre. One Piece has gained widespread recognition for its unique artistic style that features exaggerated character designs and a playful, childlike sensibility. Eiichiro Oda, the creator of the series, has acknowledged the influence of classic cartoons and comics, as well as other manga series, in shaping One Piece's distinct look. Its success has inspired other creators to take risks with their own storytelling and art styles, leading to a wider range of manga and anime that are more diverse and imaginative. There are similarities between the characters in One Piece and other popular anime series. For example, Gon Freaks from Hunter x Hunter and Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece both follow in the footsteps of their mentors. Additionally, Tragic backstories are a common theme among many characters in One Piece and the main cast of Dramatical Murder. Furthermore, the protagonists of both Attack on Titan and One Piece, Eren Yeager and Luffy respectively, share a tendency to act recklessly and charge into dangerous situations, often irritating their friends. While Fairy Tale may not feature pirates like One Piece, it does take place in a fantasy world with a colorful cast of characters. Similarly, Every character in Fairy Tale possesses unique abilities and creatures, akin to the devil fruit users and animals found in One Piece. Contrary to popular beliefs, Hiro Mishima, the author of Fairy Tale, has never been One Piece author wrote as assistant, even though the storyline and art style are especially similar. Let's compare the two in detail. Both series address subjects like companionship, steadiness, and supporting common decency. One Piece handles more serious and complex topics like bondage, separation, and government debasement, while fairy tale zeroes in more on the force of affection and family bonds. One Piece's specialty style is exceptional and conspicuous, with misrepresented extents and unmistakable visuals. Fairy tale has a more conventional anime craftsmanship style, with less complex personal plans and a more splendid variety range. Though many people believe One Piece and fairy tale craftsmanship are similar to each other, One Piece's reality is a lot bigger and more complicated, with a rich history, itemized map, and various societies. Fairy tale centers principally around the nation of Fioria and its enchanted organizations. One Piece is by and large considered to have all the more advanced and figured out characters with one of a kind histories and inspirations. Some of fairy tale characters might feel immature or one layered. One Piece has also had a profound impact on its fans, many of whom have been following the series for years or even decades. The series has become a cultural phenomenon, with its own conventions, merchandise, and fan communities. Fans of the series are passionate about its characters, storylines, and world building and many have been inspired by the series to create their own works of fan fiction, art, and even cosplay. What do you think is the influence of One Piece on other manga and anime?